Well, let's cover up all the Walmart stuff. But <laughs> hello again. Um, so welcome to day lucky 13 of Vlogmas. Um, so I have my advents to open, but I wanted to um, share with you. So I we on Saturday, and I think I mentioned it because I think I posted a video um, of what I bought at the, there was like a little pop-up Christmas market this past weekend. So, from Madam Ann's Wands More Magic in Every Way. That is so cool. Look. Um, I bought this cute little Norwal. I could have bought a whale or a Norwal. Right after I bought this one, she picked up one of the whales she had for sale and a dark blue one and put a horn on it and I'm like oh I wish I would have asked her to do a dark blue one but this is what I bought from her because uh, I always even though I could totally make this could I make it yes I could but I wouldn't be supporting a young artist budding entrepreneur because no matter what I make I'm never going to sell it but I want her to keep uh keep going and I say I would never sell it but like people that work will sometimes be like, oh, you crochet, will you make me this? Because I just made a, I think it's called Tuck the Turtle, where the the um, shell comes off and then the turtle has a booty. It is a free, so it's a free pattern on Instagram, but I bought it from somebody on Etsy for like a dollar seven. So um, this other thing that I bought is also from uh, a crocheter is called handmade by type one stitch and they give you these cute little um, square instructions but I bought this cute little Grinch and so type one uh, stitch actually she donates all her proceeds to um, buying diabetic supplies for children juveniles with type 1 diabetes so I thought that was so cute. Um, I love it. I never put noses and stuff like that on things uh, when I make them, but they are so cute. She gives you this cute little card um, with her care instructions, and it looks like she is on Instagram, so here is her information if you want it. But just supporting local artists. Also this weekend, I think I told you that I got, um, let's see, I thought I brought it up here, but I don't see it. Oh, I did. So I bought one of these. Please know I'm not sponsored. I totally bought this with my own money. I saw it on Instagram and I bought it. Well, today was the first day I used it. So the kit comes with like a little cover to put it in or a case to put it in when you're not using it. Comes with a set of these and then two sets of stickies. Um, and then this is the device that comes with the charging cord. So I used it for the first time today. So just a little feedback on it. So actual size, I'm just gonna yank it off my. So this is its actual size, like maybe, maybe two inches. Um, and so I liked that it was small. Uh, it doesn't stay on all day. You have to like keep turning it back on if you want it turned on. Did it work? Yes, I had. I I couldn't feel the pain, but this needs to be redesigned. So this is a little clip. So the plug in for the cord goes here. So either I have to plug this in, where this whole purple device with a cord coming out of it is on the outside of my pants, or um, cause the cord for the sensor things goes here. Or if I'm turning it to put it inside of my pants, I still have the cord sticking out the top. So the cord should go into the other end so that I can discreetly put it in my waistband like this. But then on top of it, this came off the whole day. Like I had to keep putting it back on. I had to, I would stick it like in, instead of clipping it, I just stuck it in the pants so that it, um, it didn't <laughs> so that I everybody couldn't see it luckily like my shirt was tucked in like just because you're on your period does not mean that you walk around with your shirt untucked so this is just crazy 
So my shirt was tucked in. Now my shirt would have been untucked. Maybe it would have stuck better. But I mean, I work every day. I, you know, my daughter goes to school. There are rules about your shirt being tucked in and things like that. Not for, for me. It's just business professional, uh, semi casual type kind of thing. But I look better with my shirt tucked in. So I like it. It works. Uh, there are multiple power levels. So uh, you, you just put it on, turn it on, and then slowly increase until you can't feel it anymore. But just in case anybody, so I got this on their Black Friday sale. I did the one with a subscription, so I think I paid like 30 bucks for this, but then I pay $8 every month to get the little stick on things. I got one for my daughter also, um, because hers are, are way worse than mine. So, but I just wanted to let y'all know about that. I'm going to put that in the bag so I remember to take it downstairs. Also, at um, at the um, little pop-up market was this wonderful Parmalee Homestead Creations. And so, not only does she sell the products that she makes, but she does classes on how to can and and uh, make pickles and make vinegars and I'm looking um, garden planning which that seems cool please know I plant a garden I look at it and poof everything and it dies I'm not a gardener my grandmother oh my goodness she could just glance at a flower and it would start to bloom I helped her when I was little but uh, I have no earthly idea what she did to those flowers. They would just bloom and grow for her. Um, we lived in the city, so there wasn't a lot of like vegetable growing. Every once in a while, there was a little bitty plot. Uh, we have some raised beds every year. I have planted raised beds. I've put lettuce in them. I've put tomatoes in them. I've put peppers in them. I've put just random see whatever in them they all die so I am NOT a gardener so next I was like oh these people have never seen anything I've made so I thought I would so this is a free water drop pattern on Ribbler I just put some googly eyes on it um, and it's supposed to be a raindrop but I call it like a little drop of happiness because this is just to me while this yarn is sort of watery it's also like sort of festive and happy I just bought some random little um, ball um, chain keychain things from Amazon it was an open box like so it was like 20% off or something like that so I got that and made this took not even an hour it took a little bit of time to make it and then I was like oh I can show them something I knitted so this is the pie wacket shawl there's not a lot of good pictures of this pattern on Ravelry um, it is an absolutely gorgeous gorgeous pattern you may be able to spot the cool thing about it um, this is made out of uh, what's it called they're the same people that made the Harry Potter yarn. This is like a surprise yarn. <clears throat> it's a commercial yarn. I can't remember the name of it, but it does come from um, Europe. I think Germany. It's like the same people that make like a Zyber Ball. I think. I could be wrong. But it's lovely. They make sock yarn. This was a lovely, easy pattern. It is a free pattern on Ravelry. It's called Pie Wacket, P-Y-W-A-C-K, I think. There may be a T in there. But anyway, for those of you that don't know, uh, back in the day, Disney made a movie called Bell, Book, and Candle about a witch who falls in love. It's very cute. Uh, Kim Novak and Jimmy Stewart. I love that movie. It's like one of my favorite movies of all time. Um... And it's just a sweet little little movie uh, put out by Disney. But in it, um, Kim Novak's cat's name is Pie Wacket. And so when I saw the shawl and there weren't pictures of it, it 
it was a look. Please know that almost every row was different <laughs> once you get away from the neck piece. But it is a fun shawl to work on. It didn't take me that long. It took two balls of the yarn, and she says the yarn in there in the pattern. It was the one that she recommended. Um, I'm gonna start reading a book. I was at, um, we were at like some sort of charity shop or thrift store and they had this lovely book. So I also watch Little Drops of Wonderful and she always uh, goes to thrift stores and gets, um, gets books that look brand new like this one had not been read. But this is the autobiography of Santa Claus and I always like to either listen or read something um, for the holiday. So I'm gonna start reading this. And my audible book is like, is, um, oh, right here, uh, is, let me get it to turn, I can find it. So I also listen to like true crime podcast and right now I'm listening. I'll tell you that later. Let me tell you the book first. Um, so I do have an office job to where I am in an office. So, I am listening to, is it this one? Stalking Around the Christmas Tree by Jacqueline Frost. So, I do the thing where I get paid for a subscription and get one little credit a month. And I try to keep it at two. Like, I try not to use one and just have one um, for emergencies. Because sometimes people will go, oh, you have to hear this leadership book. Or this programming book or this development book and so then I would have to go look for it podcast right now I am listening to let me see CD the cover with the front oh true scary story uh and it's from scary fm it looks like that i just listened to the free ones um but so far like i listened to the most recent one today it was really really good and that was the first one i had listened to so i went back and just started listening to it from the beginning uh it's good to have something going so let's open our advents for today we're going to start with green lambkin yarn and if you don't know it she has a podcast uh, a vlog um and she is doing vlogmas and it's lovely her house is decorated so beautiful i will say at my house we're just really not feeling the holidays no offense to the holidays we love the holidays but um I think last year we were still numb because my mom did die on Thanksgiving Day last year. Um, and so we were still wrapped up in the, these are all the things we have to do. And so I can tell you, and this just seems so weird to share with people, but the whole year has seemed very surreal. Uh, every holiday has seemed less wonderful than it's ever been. Um, so I'm trying to make it all wonderful because this is my daughter's uh, last year at home. She's a senior in high school, so she will be um, going away to college or work or whatever she decides to do with her life um, after this year, unless she decides to live with me forever, which she's more than welcome to do, um, but she would still have to get a job and start her own life. Um, and so, because I wouldn't want her not to, to have that. But so, everything just seems a little dull without my mom, just to be honest. Um, so, this is an absolutely beautiful color. It is La Quima del Diablo from Guatemala. This is a ceremony which takes place on the 7th of December at exactly 6 p.m. The name means burning of the devil and is a way of purifying homes. 
They build a bonfire and throw paper mache effigies of the devil into the flames as a form of spiritual cleansing, which is a preparation for the feast day, which follows on from this ritual, the feast of the Immaculate Conception in honor of the Virgin Mary. And there was a little wonderful thing of peppermint tea. And I actually like this tea brand. Um, so very excited about that. And so my Green Lantern Advent goes in that bag right there. So now we'll do Ruby and Rose. Now I'm sorry again, I did not bring up the, the names. So I don't know, I'm slacking. Ooh, that is lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely Ruby and Rose. And these are awful big. I am not sure how many ounces her advent is. But again, that bag is also right over here that I'm putting them in. My numbers have not come in. Everything's going to fall. Um, my numbers have not come in. My number tags that I ordered from Amazon because I haven't finished my working with my advents from last year. But next year I will have to. I, I'm not buying more. It's I will finish at least two advent projects. Because I had uh, Giddy Yarn, which I'm opening now, was the first advent I ever bought. Um, and so I will probably always continue to buy her. It's like a tradition. As long as she dies, I will, I will be there buying her yarn. This is gorgeous. This is O Bottom Thou Art changed so what I do I do love a bit of sparkle like I said if they have a sparkle I normally buy it uh, buy that base instead of the other ones as you can probably tell so this is before I discovered sparkle and then as you move up you see that I have well you can't see because I just realized I'm pointing out of your view Ooh, excuse me um but I have that. So my giddy yarns is over there in a box in no particular order. It will be in order. I'm just not sure what I'm going to knit with it yet because I want it to be something super special as I'm sure everybody always does. Um, I did finish that marled hat and I will look up the name of that pattern while we're here. It's a lovely easy pattern. It's actually for DK yarn. Um, I use two strands of fingering weight held together because I will tell you all 99.9% .9 of all the yarn I own is fingering weight yarn. And that's because if you can only afford one skein of yarn, you get a lot of, um, of yardage I say yard a lot of it but you get at least enough yardage to make a project and for it when I started knitting so maybe this shows how old I am a skein of yarn was like twenty dollars so I knew if I could only afford to buy one skein of yarn that I can make a pair of socks out of whatever one skein of yarn I bought so and there, I mean, I have some small shawl patterns, which I'll show y'all. Um, I'll probably show a different one tomorrow and go from there and then show you the name of it and everything. Um, I could always make a pair of socks or I can make a small shawl. So, um, that is what I did. So, the pattern is by Hedgehog Fibers. And it is the Scrappy Marl. And I finished one of those yesterday. It's probably like the fourth one I've made. Because I will come up here and be like, oh, I just want to knit a hat. And I'll grab either two skeins from in here or Hobby Lobby when they had their sale. One of their sales. I, I did not buy very much this year at all because I was like, other people need that yarn. Um, because I still have yarn from last year's sale that I haven't used up yet. So I was like, I don't need it. I have more than enough. I'm gonna let somebody else have it. Um, there, I might have bought, I don't know, three, four skeins, just just enough to accomplish a something I had in mind. 
And then here is the Tuck the Turtle pattern. And it is by Gwenzy Crochets, at least. And so it is so cute. Um, like I said, this is a free pattern on Instagram, or you can buy it on Etsy if you want to support the designer. I actually bought it on Etsy. It is the cutest thing ever. Mine is actually taller than this. Um, it's at work on my desk, or I would, I would, um, show it to you. There's a, um, young man who wanted it, who wanted one of those for his wife for Christmas. So, he's like, oh, can you do it? And I was like, yes, I can do it. Um, so he is going to pay me. I don't know how much he's going to pay me. I was like, just go on Etsy and find one and then it'll be the same amount as that. Um, so, but the Scrappy Marl, I do believe was a free pattern, at least at the time that I got it. And Trunk the Turtle um, was also, like I said, free on Instagram, paid for on Etsy. It's a, it was easy to follow. I am a beginner crocheter, so it was lovely. I, I think I'm about to pick out a couple of skeins of, of yarn and do something. I was, I don't know, I may still get a skein of bare yarn and dye it. So yes, this room is full, I say full of yarn, but it's not full of yarn. Um, but I was looking in here to see if I have any solid, um, sparkle yarns. I will, I guess I'll share some of my stash with you. Um, I got these bags off of Amazon. I really like them. Um, they're just like, um, I don't know. They really just make it easier for me to pull yarn out and mess with it. Um, I have grouped it at this time. I think I grouped it by sparkle, no sparkle type kind of thing. Cause this is some nitpicks. It's not grouped by designer. Um, this is a local dyer, Arkansas Yarns. Look at that. It is lovely. It is called Vintage Kitchen. It's Yummy Sparkle, 75% Superwash Merino, 15 Nylon, 10 Selena, 437 yards, 100 grams. So it's sort of on the thinner side, but that is gorgeous. Um, this is Apothecary. Oh my goodness, amazing. Um, this is not broken. That's where the, um, I think this is, it's 8020 Merino Wool Silk. Um, 100 grams, two ply, 400 yards. So you probably don't know, but there is a fiber festival in Northwest Arkansas in Eureka Springs and Apothecary is there. Um, she comes, she brings like this whole little section that you're seeing right here is Apothecary. Um, I hear next year Fangirl Fibers will be there. So I have some fiber optic yarns. That's what this is. But um, that's not what I was looking at. This is Black Cat Fibers. I only have like one skein. But I was like, ooh, I saw this solid color. I was like, maybe, but it's lace weight. So this is by Rain's Obsession Stitchery. She is an independent dyer from Tennessee. She also makes bags. Um, this is her Eleanor Lace. And so it's 75% Merino, 20% Silk, 5% Selena, 100 grams is 875 yards. So I was like, it is a beautiful solid color. I have no idea why I bought this. Not only did I buy it, but I bought two of them. Um, I do not work in a lot of lace weight. I don't have a lot of lace weight, but I was like, ooh, maybe this beautiful, it's really more of a warm burgundy color than the, than um, the way it's coming off sort of, I don't know, maybe it is coming up true to color. But I thought, ooh, that might be good to hold with, to hold together, like ball and then hold it together to do my advent but I don't know I was I'll have to lay it out and then lay this next to it to see if it'll go with it I'm trying to see oh I have another beautiful uh, Arkansas yarn company here and this is Missy Vaughn's uh, lilac so we used to have a yarn store in town called uh, 
Mockingbird Moon, and they sadly went out of business. I did not go to their going out of business sale. I was actually traveling for work, so I didn't get to go. Um, but she is greatly missed. Her shop is greatly missed. I loved it. Um, great bunch of people that would meet over there and knit. Um, I have a green uh, from Forbidden Fiber. She is from Tennessee, too. She is in West Tennessee in a little town called Mumford. She has a shop, and this is Gillyweed on her pride base, and it's 70% superwash merino, 20% nylon, 10% stellina, and it's 495 yards. So that is lovely. So I thought about about one of these two colors, but I'm like, no, not the green, because it's very good, but I actually had a plan for that when I bought it. And, um, matter of fact, I think it's going to go with that Arkansas Yarn Company. I'll have to look at my notes. Um, but I don't know. I'm thinking I'm going to leave this out and, and lay it out and see if that's what I want to do. So, I just looked at the camera and I have rambled on for 26 minutes. So, I apologize. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, if you do watch, I would love for you to comment or subscribe, and I know I just ramble, but, um, might be fun. I watch a lot of podcasts where people just sit there and ramble, um, but I enjoy hearing about their life and their day and, and, uh, watching them open their advents or seeing their projects or their yarn. Um, it's really just a way to connect, and I know no one else in this area that knits, so, um, it's like a little connection. So, hope you have a great day. Today was a good day, and tomorrow is a great day to be even better, or a good day to be even better. <laughs> Y'all have a great day. Bye.